Yer, this is Perp, back with another video, and I just got out of watching The Killer's Game. This is starring Dave Bautista, Sophia Botella. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but she's from Rebel Moon. You've seen her in that movie. Also, Ben Kingsley is in this, Terry Crews, a list of other people. Man, this, I gotta say before I get into my thoughts about this movie, Dave Bautista really is the best wrestler turned actor. Like, he really is, like, just switching it up. In this, he is in a, an action comedy, and this is really refreshing because even though this plot is pretty much uh, a great value, John Wick, there's a twist to it where Dave Bautista's character, he plays Joe Flood, and he's like the best uh, hitman that they've ever seen, right? But he's kind of tired of this. He's kind of bored with this lifestyle. He wants, like, there needs to be more to life than just killing people, even though they deserve it. He's not killing, like, innocent people. He's killing criminals and stuff like that. So he gets these headaches, and these headaches lead to um, something dire, pretty much, right? It's pretty much life or death. So now he gets... Uh, he crosses paths with Sophia's character uh Maisie and instantly falls in love with this chick and oddly enough they he met he met this girl you know while saving her during a hit and that was kind of an interesting intro to just both of these characters that she was this dancer and you know she doesn't have a huge role in this movie besides just kind of being the love interest for Joe I will say though, without spoiling it, she does have a moment within this ep uh, this movie. Other than that, you know, pretty much what ends up happening, he's dealing with all this stuff. He's loving just being around Maisie, and he gets this kind of call that he has X amount of time to live. So then he pretty much puts a hit out on himself because that's how he wants to be. Uh, he wants to go out and he starts to set up things for Maisie and stuff, having life insurance. And man, this movie goes in a lot of crazy different directions that I didn't like really expect. Um, I was going to pass on this movie, but I kind of acknowledge what it's trying to do. It's definitely trying to capture like that old 80s cheesy action over the top type of vibe it has very bad cgi throughout this movie but it doesn't take me out of the dope choreography that we do get with a lot of these actors not the best lines you know it's meant to be cheesy it's not meant to be really taken serious it's very melodramatic at times it's still entertaining i will say it's better than most action films now this definitely felt like something that could have been on tubi or you know netflix it could have definitely been on a streamer just because the quality of the film itself like the special effects aren't the greatest you know there are some really dope action sequences throughout this movie though which i would definitely recommend checking out just for that for the spectacle of it don't go in for the story because the story is pretty much basic even though i do like it you know i think it makes sense for this movie like I, it's just like john wick but minus offing off a dog and stuff like that it's more so the person that's the the huge hitman putting the hit on himself to kind of go out really cool premise i think B dave batista is really um switching it up first he was like you know Drax now he's kind of breaking up doing these action films you see him in Dune and he's just picking a lot of interesting roles and I can't wait to see what he does next but I would recommend checking this out whether you want to check it out in the theaters because if you got T-Mobile right now they have a five dollar ticket so it's definitely worth that five dollar ticket if you got T-Mobile or if you want to just you know you got A-list that you're looking for a different new fun type of movie that take somebody with or friends definitely go check this out but if you get around to checking this movie out let me know your thoughts in the comments below till next time i'm out peace